All right. Well, happy Monday, everyone. It's been a while. Happy Monday, everyone. Yeah, it's been a long while. When's the last time we did this? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Was it on Thursday? Yeah. So it's only been, what, Friday, Saturday we were MIA? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I thought we didn't go on Thursday, though. We did. We did? Okay. So um, I could have swore we canceled on Thursday. Hi, Bill. How you doing? How are things in Washington? How's the uh, how's the new new home going? When are you guys moving in? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, we would love to have a home in uh, Washington. Washington is gorgeous. <laughs> How were sales last week for you? Yeah, just um, just curious as to how things are going. So Bill says that it's hot in Washington. Got the back deck sealed and new numbers up. Yay. Wow. You guys are just working away. Naturally, you guys are just really hard workers. <laughs> yeah, sales are okay. I don't even know what our sales were this week. Were they okay? Um, yeah. The last two weeks were pretty much a blur. Uh, we just got so much going on. Um, so we haven't really been able to put a hundred percent focus on flipping gals on sales. It's kind of sporadic. Um, so that certainly impacts our sales. Yeah, definitely. This week, Marina is taking some time off. I'm freer. So we'll be back. We'll yes. be back every single day. Like we were, um, cabin trip next week. How exciting we're too. Hi, Eco Exchange. And How are you? They're going to be moving on the 26th. Oh, wow. Happy Monday, Ma wow, uh, Manny Aguilar, 67. How's everything going with you guys? How are you guys doing with your sourcing? Yes. I mean, time off for, for me is like, you know, I get to work at my pace and on my schedule, which I love. Happy Monday, and Bordino. How are you guys doing? We're going to re recap our weekly sales as we usually do on Mondays. Yep. Um, definitely always curious how your sourcing is going. Where are you sourcing from? How is your sourcing going? And, um, we do have something coming up. Isn't our Etsy workshop, workshop on Saturday? Yes. So we want to announce it. For those of you who don't know, we have an Etsy workshop coming up on Saturday. So in the month of August, we're going to be focusing on growing your Etsy stores. Um, and just, you know, we have three workshops actually planned for that for the month of August. And in the month of, what's after August? September? Mm -hmm. September, we're going to be talking about um, growing yourself on eBay. But we did choose um, to do Etsy first because with Etsy, as you're going to learn if you attend our workshops, um, is that it takes a little bit of time to grow the store. That's why we want to get started on that one right away. So. So, and Bordino says she, she has a great story. Sourcing, For sourcing story. story. She said, I posted to Nextdoor, the neighborhood app, I, that I will take your used clothes to sort, sell, and donate. Yay! Awesome! And how was it? What happened? We're curious. I spent the entire weekend picking up and dropping Yay! off bags. That's awesome. That is so cool. And that's why, that's why this is like so amazing, um, to be a reseller because even if you like, if you're becoming a reseller because you need to make some extra cash, then this is like an amazing opportunity in the United States of all places in the United States where, you know, people are constantly like, even we are getting rid of things and they're looking for places to take it to or someone to just come and pick it up from their home. It does them a big favor, especially now they don't have to leave their home. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that story. And it looks like Bill's going to be going off the grid in Wyoming. How awesome. Have you ever been there before? Or is this your first time? So, um, as we go through this, um, if you guys have any like questions that you want to address for other resellers to hear about on our podcast or even just to read during the live, you can use a question mark sticker below. Um, it helps like to see the the question a little bit clearer. As you can tell, these like we're using an iPhone SE for our live, and the words are tiny. <laughs> so, 
Okay, so you, so Bill says that they go to Wyoming every year for an, it's an 11 hour drive. Oh my gosh, that is a long drive. Are you guys going to split it up or just, you know, book it the whole time? So and Bernina said, that's what everyone said. They were so thankful. I was like, no, thank you. How cool. Thanks for sharing that. Yay. That gives us all the feels. Did you get anything um, good? So Marina, what was your best sold item this Do you want me week? to do the recap really fast? Like no, we usually we, start with the recap or do you want to end with the recap? Oh, we, you can do the recap. Okay. We're going to start with the recap. <laughs> book it. Okay. You guys are those kind of people. Let's, let's have a couple of shout <laughs> Just kidding. Out. I would totally book it too. Um, yeah. Hey, good evening, Variety Thrift. Are you on your way home from work on that commute? Good evening, Vanity Box 18. And so one, we're, we're going to um, display. Good evening, Buck Fevers KC. Happy Monday to you guys. How are you? Um, we're going to just show you how we did this last week, which to my surprise is always better than expected. Um, given the fact that like Michelle said, and you also, you missed us on Fridays and Saturdays. We were not here. We were really busy with our secular jobs, but we have since then had a time to take a breath and we are back. Yeah. I think, I think this week's sales will pick up a little bit. Uh, I spent a lot of time listing over the weekend, so we shall see. Yes. And okay. So we're giving ourselves, hear us out because maybe you want to do the same thing. We're giving ourselves a reward. So what's like the number one thing you guys like or love? Michelle's number one thing she likes and loves is food. So she is a huge foodie. I became like a foodie as well. Not as big as her because I met her. And so we have a goal, right? So there's this very delicious uni pasta nearby. And the goal is hit 100 listings and we're going to go pick it up. And actually, I volunteer to go pick it up. So usually, you know, we've been doing 17 listings a day. Um, but we're going to do, well, we'll see, right? It could be 25 listings a day or something like that. Uh, Bill from 324 Finds says Etsy killed it for us as well. Woo! Oh my gosh, so glad to hear that. Yeah, Etsy, um, as I guess Bill already saw. So our recap for the week was we sold a total of 11 items. Two on Poshmark, one on eBay, one on Mercari seven on Etsy. Our total gross was $999. Oh, sorry. $909.96. And our profit was a comfortable $694.29, which we're not mad at because like Michelle said, we didn't put too much effort into, we didn't source like much at all last week. And if we did, it was online. So, um, we are not mad at those numbers at all whatsoever. Uh, and Bordino said, eat the pasta. <laughs> Um, is eat, eat the, the food, food no, no goals, goals necessary. I'm an eater. <laughs> For no sure. goals necessary. <laughs> I know, right? And then Bill said, new barbecue, neighborhood barbecue coming soon. Nice. Hey, I, I always mean, honestly, need some motivation to, you know, to work harder. So, so without further ado, we're going to get yeah. started. But we also did want to quickly, because we didn't totally got off traffic and for topic and forgot to mention that we are hosting a workshop on Etsy. Um, it's $25, but the pre-sale pre still going for nine bucks. You can purchase it on flippinggals.com or find the link in our bio. Now we have a three part Etsy workshop coming up and the first part is for beginners. So if you've never sold on Etsy, if you're brand new to it, still kind of trying to figure out if it's for you or what to sell, then that first workshop is for you. Um, the second and third workshops are going to be more about, um, you know, growing your store marketing um for the second workshop and then marketing and then the third one is going to be managing it. using tools managing your store using the right tools for etsy um all right so without further ado our first item we want to show you guys is um a shirt that we sold on etsy right on etsy where we sold seven of our items last week this was a vintage um oregon shakespeare festival shirt we paid Honestly, we got a big box of vintage clothes for $15 from an estate sale. This was purchased online and we sold this shirt for $35 on Etsy. It's gorgeous. I love the we colors. We probably got it for less. Um, so Bill, 324 Finds has a question. Have you noticed your items shipped take longer to actually ship? A hundred percent yes, especially for USPS. FedEx has been doing okay. Um, 
So USPS for sure. Yeah, and it's really good that you bring that up, Bill, because I have a really big feeling this is going to be the trend starting now until January of next year. So like, you know, we won't really, even with Amazon, even I've noticed it's taken a lot longer and even Amazon has like disclaimer, this might take longer to ship, you know, Yeah. when you order from them. So especially for Christmas and all of that, I hope everyone gets their orders in early December at the latest because there's no way you're going to be able to do like a two day before Christmas kind of a gift. That's yeah. just not going to be possible at this time. Yeah, COVID has certainly impact, um, impacted shipping time. I spoke with someone from USPS because I have a shipment that was really, really, really late. And they basically <laughs> said they, um, they were full and they had to send it to another location. So literally went to like somewhere four hours away from here and then from there they ship the things out so that's crazy yeah it's They're not just, just you bill it's getting done it's just taking a longer time um again thanks for bringing that up bill that's a really good point so um so that was our first sale our second sale is also a clothing item yeah so this is um this was sold on poshmark it's actually a brand called carlisle and this is basically a brand that's catering to i think older women professional women um it They're took a gorgeous, while just gorgeous designs oh yeah really high quality high end stuff this this would probably cost like 300 bucks 400 bucks at least so yeah. that person got actually got a steal for 60 dollars on yeah. poshmark and we paid up for it we paid 16 dollars. we just thought the uh the material it, it's a vintage um beautiful blazer. teal blazer we just thought it was gorgeous. So we went to like a high end area along the coast of California. We, we picked this one up at a garage sale. So we do have another question. So Ember Dino asks, how old does an item have to be to be considered vintage on Etsy? Excellent question. All, All right. right. <laughs> yes. And you'll learn more if you join our workshop on Saturday. Yeah. We but it doesn't matter. Keep coming. Keep those questions coming. And if you are, if you have already registered, you know, send us questions that you want that you want to make sure are covered. And the um, answer is twenty years. So 20 vintage years. is um, anything twenty years and older is considered vintage, and anything a hundred years and older would be considered antique. So before twenty two thousand, which is nineteen ninety nine, is considered vintage. I did want to say though, the who's buying the vintage items? Everybody, right? Even the young people, they're loving the vintage items. And something new that I learned, and let us know if you have heard about this also, is if the item isn't vintage before 2000, anything from the year 2000 to, you know, 2010, I guess, they're calling it Y2K. So that also has like a special place in the fashion you know, vintage. It's like the new vintage. It's Y2K, anything in the year early 2000s. Well, Something I learned Why recently as well. Can. And Bordino said, I want you, but I have to work. Will you do the workshop again? So something we forgot to mention, um, we do have a few people who registered who won't be able to make it. Um, you know, once you register for the workshops, you do have a uh, one year free access to the workshops. So we're going to, you know, if you're not able to make it, you could definitely rewatch them if you purchase them um, for a year. Okay. All right. So let's continue to the next one here. Okay, this next one is a pair of seven for all mankind jeans sold on Poshmark for $25. This was a plus size um, denim jeans and plus size actually sell really well. Mm-hmm. They really do, yeah. Um, man, I remember when those seven for all mankind jeans, I used to buy those when they were like $175 a piece. I don't do that anymore. I, don't, I mean, I, I could thrift items now, so, but back when I didn't really know much about thrifting. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Bug Fever KC said, the young people are loving vintage. My daughter just told me to keep an eye out for 90s and 2000s when we go to the bins. Yes, exactly. So young people are loving the 90s and the 2000s now are having a huge um, something for you to put in your tool and your, um, you know, in your toolboxes, the 2000s are equally as popular. Look for those t-shirts out there. Thanks you're, for sharing that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And um, I I listed a couple of vintage t-shirts yesterday, and this morning I woke up, and we already have watchers. So people <laughs> are looking for them. Hi, Ashfit Wife. Happy Monday to you. Hello. So definitely t-shirts are super popular. Okay. 
We have another question here. It says, uh, read about the earthquake business. Feel anything? San Andreas, nothing to mess with. Stay safe, please. I totally felt an earthquake today. Today? I totally felt an earthquake today, yeah. But I, but I was waking up and I was like, was that, I was like zoning in and out. It take, takes me a while to wake up today. Um, yes, I totally did. There has that. been quite a few lately. Yeah. Here in I'm not going to lie. Earthquakes freak me out. Thank you so much, Bill. You are the sweetest. Honestly, thank you for that. Okay. Your well wishes. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, we're going to move on to this other item on Etsy. This is a 13 in Toshiba TV. We have, um, you know, our opinions on this. If you guys can source these televisions, they are super hot. They do sell. Um, it's a little intimidating when you first, you know, pack one of these. But if you have any questions about packing, let us know. And we're more than happy to walk you through it. Um, in fact, we should pro- we do so many of these. We should probably make a video out of it so you guys could just watch it at any time. Pick it up. Definitely pick it up. So we um, paid $15 for this one, and it sold for $118 on Etsy. Gotta let you know, <laughs> Bill says, you two kill the electronics. Thank you, Bill. We were afraid of electronics for the longest time. We were like, we're girls. Like, we shouldn't touch electronics. Okay, but you know what? We got to get out of these, like, stereotypes because, ladies, you guys can definitely get in on the electronics. Definitely, if you're a guy, you have an advantage because you got those muscles, right? Guys, we should- <laughs> got check out what we sold. There's an item from today where it's like 54 pounds, and yeah, I handle that. Yeah, so um, definitely, guys, you have an advantage. But um, women, let's get in there also with those electronics. And I want to let you guys know this one sold for 118. We paid 15 dollars on Etsy, but. We underpriced it, like way underpriced it. We have our friends, Vasquez Vintage. They're selling these TVs at over 200, around 250 on Etsy, especially if you have the remote, it's definitely worth more. Just because we have been selling these electronics, um, you know, these, just so you know, these are much harder to find than the the VHS DVD players. Mm -hmm. Now, Bill said, I may have to dabble in them once we move in. I'm so looking forward to you, Bill, expanding and dabbling into some other things. We kind of had a hunch that maybe you might be um, open to doing something like that. So, (laughs) and uh, he says, nice, Michelle, bulk up. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Just be careful. (laughs) It's just like CrossFit, I swear. (laughs) All right, so this next one, um, this is a DVD VHS combo, and we actually bought this, um, we sourced this at a price uh, at $41 and sold it for $125. I'm not mad about that. You could definitely, um, if you score these at 20, that's fantastic. Um, But like, we're not afraid to pay up a little bit for something we know is gonna sell. Cool. All right, so the next one that you see here this is a VHS player. You'll see these selling um, in your neighborhoods around 20 bucks as well. Um, it's still definitely worth picking up. They're lighter and easier to ship than the DVD VHS, and they sell just as well. This one happened to come with a remote, so we sold it for 95 bucks, paid 10 bucks on Etsy. And this next one is a Sony CD disc player. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize people are still buying CD players, so. Um, we got this, uh, we got a bundle, so we paid $4.29 for this and sold it for $108. Um, amazing deal. It's amazing what you could source locally. If we were not in a pandemic right now, Michelle and I would be going crazy sourcing locally. Um, really good deal. Yes, people are still buying CD players. All right, so the next one is a RVCA vintage hat. Um, I think this was probably from the 90s or early 2000s. It's maroon. It's definitely got some wear on it, but it's still sold for $24.96 on Etsy. We paid a dollar for it at an estate sale. All right, this next item. This is a super rare item, guys. Um, so this would be a bolo. Uh, this is a 20-inch TV with a combination of DVD and VHS and one. So usually you see some um, that's... You know, most of them are only VHS or DVD, but this is a combo of both. This item was free. We did a free pickup, and um, and we sold it for two fifty. And this, I have to say, was the heaviest item I've ever had to pack. <laughs> it's I feel so bad. It was fifty four pounds, and I just pushed myself to keep 
doing it. This, Keep moving. This was a free pickup with a remote, and Michelle did a fantastic job. It's going all the way across the country. Cross your fingers, it makes it okay with you know the storms and weathers and everything that's going on. Um, just want to quick do a quick shout out. Happy Monday, Thrifty Diva SC. Is SC for South Carolina by chance? Happy Monday, Dustin, 1122, and Sean Selling Things. Um, Bill says, hi, um, I think it says, hi for inspiring me. Maybe that means something else. I'm so getting into the electronics. <laughs> Hashtag you two are the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. That's what it meant. Yeah, um, Bill, honestly, we want to see you killing it in the electronics section. Super excited for you. We can't wait to follow you on that journey, and we're definitely here to support you on all these things. Now, the question, really good question, is these were sourced mainly online. Um, actually, we still have a lot of inventory from when we sourced um, in person in local places like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. So not necessarily. However, as I guess you have been listening to um, what we've been saying about sourcing, which is the last two weeks we've been sourcing everything online. So, um, so yeah, no, these were a mixture yeah a mixture definitely the tvs like this it's hard to find tvs they're rare yeah um and if you find them online it's hard to find them at a good price right um but you could find many of them uh locally in person you can go to thrift stores there's a lot of thrift stores that have electronics so it's just gonna be it's it might take you about a year or so to to find your sources um but we have no doubt right away you're gonna start making some really good money yeah, and, and Bill, because of the COVID situation here in Southern California, we are being more careful. That's why we're sourcing online. If we have a choice, we would definitely do it in person, but we want to be extra careful. Yeah, we've been like when we were going out, we'd always come home and be like, "Oh my gosh, did we get it?" So we don't have, we don't want to freak ourselves out anymore. Exactly. Although still, we have to be careful opening packages because we get so many of them. All right, all right. So let's go to the next one here. Um, one final thing, though. I did want to point out this was free. Um, you guys, there you have no idea unless you do and you're already doing this, how free items are like ch are really increasing our bottom line. Every week if we get a, there's so many free items, there's so many people who just want you to pick up their things and it's crazy that I mean we see, if like Michelle said, like if we were stronger, we would be picking these picking these up left and right. Um, Bill, I hope that you can, you know, make sure, I don't bulk know if you can, too. yeah, bulk up too, Michelle said. <laughs> I, the, the thing is like, I wouldn't mind doing this, right? but if I hurt my back no. and then there was like a medical bill, I'm like, eh, eh, no thanks. Well, <laughs> I mean, forget the medical bill, like, you don't want to hurt your back. No. <laughs> that yeah, wouldn't be good. That too. Um, all right, so Mercari, we sold a Starbucks mug, um, on Mercari for $25. We picked up a bunch of Starbucks mugs um, and bought this for two bucks. Yep, two bucks. And it's a cool, like, create your own mug, like a like a chalkboard Starbucks mug. So those are definitely bolos if you guys run into those. Even used ones. We've sold many. All right. And the next one here is a 1981 The Royal Wedding, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, 12 crown coin collection. We sold it on eBay um for $45 it came with a bundle of things that we got Michelle got from an estate sale no my mom donated it oh just kidding this came from your mom oh I didn't know that yeah thank you Michelle's mom we appreciate it <laughs> again the free things really add to our bottom line <laughs> um all right so we're gonna do we've done the recap we'll do it one last time so we sold 11 items this week Poshmark 2 eBay 1 Mercari 1 Etsy 7 and th you know this is why we do recommend branching out to more than one place because like if we were only on Poshmark that would have only been two mm -hmm. if we were only on eBay that would have only been one right so this has really worked out well for us um, we do use um, what's the name of that Vendu. Vendu.co I know some of you use it in here to be able to do this and it makes it pretty simple for us so any questions about Vendu and cross-listing let us know you can direct messages in the comments if you want to sign up we have an affiliate link in our bio. You can get, how much is it? Like, I think it's like 20, 20, 20 or 25% off your 25, first month. 25, 25. Yeah. All right. So here is our quote for our motivational Monday motivation. You want to do it? Teacher? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So what you think you become, 
what you feel you attract and what you imagine you create. And this is from Buddha. And, um, and I like that because we all, you know, whether it's from Buddha or you believe in like the law of attraction or you believe in the power of the mind, um, like this is all true. Yeah. So Bill says he loves this one. Love this one as well. Um, and that's why positive energy, positive thoughts are so important. Um, and then, you know, we believe in like, you know, we believe in, in that kind of stuff, right? Like go with the flow, make things easy for you, find what works for you, what you like. So Bill, um, has a question here. He put in the QA. He says, Tori and I are going to start refining furniture as well. Oh my gosh, you two, oh, between you and Tori, between you and Tori, honestly, honestly, you guys can create some awesome things. I've always wanted to do that. I think that is, and, and you know, they're so crafty. Yeah. Michelle and I, I we lack in that department, but I we, always, we appreciate how crafty you guys are. Yeah, honestly. I always like get zoned into those YouTube videos where they just like fast forward all the <laughs> crafty things they do. Those are so cool. That is so cool, but we are so excited to see that. Oh yeah. my gosh. Honestly, yes. Yes. When we went to France um, a couple years ago, walking into Versailles, which is like my favorite, one of my favorite places in the world, I was inspired to do something like that, but... You know, we don't have the bandwidth to do that. Although Bill says, believe in yourself. So that's a good thing to end it with. Um, thank you, Bill. Thank you, everyone, for participating in our live today. We hope you guys have a great week. Remember to source daily, but smartly, and to list daily and consistently. And anytime you guys feel down or you need some motivation or help or questions, send us a message. We're only a message away um, in your Instagram accounts, direct message. And um, Bill says, love you ladies, keep kicking butt. Love you too, Bill. Thank you. Um, super excited for you and Tori. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Have a great evening.